Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot Part 1. I am Gabriel Gaming 5000K. This game has been released in 2020 before the pandemic started. This video game is based up of Dragon Ball Z, the anime. We're going to do it on difficulty settings including easy difficulty level for players who struggle with the action games. Standard difficulty level is normal, hard. A difficulty level for a player who excel at action games. I'm going to try easy. In this world exist seven mystical orbs known as Dragon Balls. Any who should obtain all seven is granted anything their hearts desire. This strange tale has these Dragon Balls at its very heart. Oh, yeah. We got some cuts cutscenes skip and we got a battle. You got basic controls. Left trigger, you have to guard. If you press left trigger and X, you burst. Left stick you move. Left stick plus right trigger move up and down. Left trigger plus A by holding the A button, you boost. Left stick you super boost by by clicking the left stick. Mm hmm Y button, if you hold the Y button, you charge your key and surge. Your X button is your key blast attack. The B button lets you melee attack. A button, step, right stick, cancel target, lock on. Let's see what else. Hold, LB, super attack, palais, left trigger, plus A, vanish attack. Holding the control pad, it shows your items. RB. You have to hold, hold, support palette. Left trigger and right trigger hold your transfer includes your transformation. If you use the right stick, you can switch target. We're on a battle against Piccolo. Goku versus Piccolo. Goku is the main hero of this game. Here we go. Kick Piccolo's butt. Alright. 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 Got Kamehameha Wave and Scissors, Paper, Rocks. Rock, oh. Body Blow. Out of my way. Come on, bro. Oh, got some combos. Whoa. Watch out for his Demon Flash Strike. On bunch of Kamehameha on him, man. Oh, left trigger, you gotta guard. When he's stunned, give it a chance. Better watch my key attack. That blue gauge is your key. You gotta watch your health, because if you run out of health, game over. Come on, bro. Stop that. Alright, Surge. As you take damage or deal it out, your tension gauge will fill. When both your tension gauge and key are full, hold white button to activate the Surge effect. While Surge is active, all of your stats are boosted. You will be able to perform unique attacks and cancel super attacks and combos into other actions, as well as automatically chase after knockback opponents. The surge effects gives you the freedom to change together attacks you normally can't chain together, as well as do things like fire off multiple Kamehamehas one after another. Alright. Alright, that's what I have to do. Ouch. Alright. Better watch my health. Stop doing that, Piccolo. Well, you, you you are an orbs, and you get it for every S ranks. All right, skip the cutscene, please. Skip it. All 
All right. As I was saying, all right, never mind. The boy's son Goku defeated King Demon King Piccolo, who plotted world domination. Five years have passed since his victory. This is the one from Dragon Ball. I remember that series a long time ago. I know the characters in this series. Piccolo is a green Namekian. Yeah. Uh, so this is Attack of the Saiyans. This is the Saiyan Saga. Skip that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. If I hold the X button, you might want to speed up your text. Field controls. Key blast, left trigger plus X, hold. Left trigger plus X is key blast. Left trigger plus X, hold. Charge key blast. L hold LB to search for key. Move, move the left stick lets you move. Clicking on the left stick, high speed dash, Y button. By holding the hot Y button, you boost flight. B, examine, talk. A button, jump. Select button lets you change menu. RB, vertical boost ascension by holding it. Basic controls, vehicle palais, left and right. Up, control pad up, right, control pad down, dismount, moving the right stick lets you move camera, clicking on the right stick lets you reset. Alright, items on the field. You can find a variety of items on the field. Simply approach an item and you will automatically collect it. You'll have to press B and when, a near, near, when near an important item though to collect it. Be sure to collect food items as they can be eaten as if for for stats boost or cooked as part of meals for support effects. Those effects will definitely help if you if you find yourself up against tough opponents. So keep yourself nourished regularly. All right. Slice of life. Collect some apples. Okay. Press A button to jump. B button. Examine. All right. All right, as I was saying, when you defeat it in a, your opponent, you will get many ranks and experience points and orbs. Yeah. So basically, I am not going to go for 100% on this game. I really can't collect all orbs and stuff. I just... I'm not going to do time trials on on racing on racing activities cuz I don't like rushing and I don't want to do time trials at all because time trials can be very difficult that's for sure. All right. What we got to do is find some apples. Okay. Let's see here. Come on. If I press LB, I can sense something. Yeah, the main hero, Goku, is voiced by Shun Shemmel, who does the voice of, let's see, Black Doom from Shadow the Hedgehog. Yes, and Dr. Valiant Crowler from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Come on. You can't use Key Blast when you're nearby. Like this. When you're nearby your people, right? Okay. Let's try to find one more. What do you say? Leave it to me. Yeah. You know, you cannot fly right now. If I press, press the left stick, you can run fast. It's like what Naruto does. That's pretty crazy. Oh, or it's Gohan, the kid Gohan. He appears to be Goku's son with the four-star Dragon Ball on his hat. 
Gohan is voiced by Colin Clinkenbeard, who does the voice of Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. Yeah, that's right. Catching. You have to be at a higher level to break this boulder. Okay. Gotta go see Gohan right now. So this is this is the series of Dragon Ball Z. This is after Goku marries Chi Chi. All right, got some herbs. Okay, that's enough apples for now. Okay. Blah blah blah. Slice of life. Keep going on close and make your way to the fishing spot. All right. Oh, Gohan is a crybaby, you know. I remember in the first episode when he got lost and a saber-toothed tiger chased him and Goku saved his life. And here we got some gazelles. Alright. Alrighty then. Where are you, Gohan? Oh, I gotta stick to Gohan right now. Right. Oh, here we have a dragon radar. On the top right screen. And you got some Dragon Balls that we got to collect. Mm -hmm. And here we got some, some, let's see here, some minerals over there. We got minerals over there. Where are you, Gohan? Oh, look. There are fishes everywhere in the, in the water, underwater. Okay. Gohan, where are you, man? There you are, bro. Okay, if you leave Gohan behind, he will start crying. Best not do that, for sure. Oh, did you know this, uh, that I, I'm leveled up to two? Oh, you get stronger. Your stats get a lot higher. Increase. Your base stats, that is. Huh. Ah. Take Gohan with you to the fishing spot. Oh man, Go it appears that Gohan wants to be a great scholar. So that's what he does. Hey, look, we got some pterodactyls on the sky. You can't jump right now. Okay. <sighs> Try out some tail fishing. Okay, if you press the Y button, you can use bait. The B button, you're going to fish. Hey, this is where Go Goku 
got his tail cut off. That was in Dragon Ball. Well, if I move the left stick, I can wiggle the tail so that the fish can bite it. Okay, press the B button on the red outline. Aim for the center and push the button. You get great. Blue fish. You get you get items like lean giant fish and giant fish fin muscle. Hmm. Let's throw our catch over that fire. What do you say? You gotta cook a fish over a campfire. I'm gonna fish some more so that I can raise some stats. Yeah, those the goldfish symbols might include the rarest items. All right, do a star like One Punch Man. Boom. Yay. There's only blue fishes there. Okay. Grill up some fish. Pre if you press the white button, you will rest. Like this. No, you can't be you can't use it right now, so you gotta eat a meal by pressing the B button. Okay, this is a campfire cooking. And you get active meal effects every time you eat one. This one includes effect duration called Lean Giant Fish. Meal effects plus 1% to key defense, status boost, 1 plus to key defense. Yep. These are the items you have you need. So that you can cook one and eat it. I'm gonna go with giant fish fin muscle, right? Select lean giant fish. Like this. A lean cut of giant fish. Hefty and sure to satisfy. Oh, you sure you wanna eat the meal? Yes. Well, that looks really good. Yep. The meal effects increase your key defense. Mm -hmm. Party HP and key have been completely restored. Man, Goku always eats a lot. He eats fast. And here we got soul emblems. Including Goku and Gohan. This one includes Z symbol and the cooking symbol, training symbol, mechanic symbol, and let's see here, adventure symbol, and what else? Collecting symbols and shopping symbols. Right. Soul emblems are items that represent relationships with certain characters and can be obtained as you progress through the story. All of the soul emblems that you've obtained can be viewed on the community menu. Soul emblems don't do anything by themselves, but by sending them to a community board, you can activate effects that will help you on your adventure. You got Z Warrior community leader Goku and unlocked a new community board. Wow. Community boards are where you set your soul emblems. Emblems can be set or removed at any time. So if you get your hands on a new emblem, don't forget to set it to a community board. To set a soul emblem to a board, simply press A on the soul emblems menu and select the ones you want to set. A community's rank is influenced by the overall community level of the soul emblems you have set. Once the overall community level reaches a certain value, the community's rank will increase and you'll gain access to more of its community skills which provides helpful effects on your adventure. As a community overall all level is dependent on the community level of the soul emblem set to it, it is also possible to lower a community's rank by adding or removing emblems. The community levels and the ranks, the levels are 
Soul emblems have community levels that affect the community to which they are set. Emblems are well suited to some communities, but not, not well suited to others. Sending them to certain communities will increase the maximum commu community level. Increasing proficiency will increase a community's level. Prophecy, right, okay. In this community, you can activate community skills that will help you in battle. Build up the Z Warrior community if you want to focus more on battles. With an empty panel selected, press A to display the Soul Emblem screen. Okay, they got confirmed bonuses. With an empty panel selected, press A to display the Soul Emblem screen. The details, right. After selecting Gohan, press A to make him available to set. Set Gohan next to Goku. Ultimate Father-Son Team. The following bonus is now active. Placing specific soul emblems next to one another will activate what's called a link bonus. Activating a link bonus raises a community's level and makes it easier to raise a community's rank. Press select on the community board screen to view a list of available link bonuses for the emblems placed on that board. Items earned, sacred text of martial arts. Give the item um, Gohan found. A soul emblem's friendship and prophecy can be can both be increased using the gifts. Raising an emblem's prophecy will increase its community level. The community that is effective will depend on the gift given. For example, the sacred text of martial arts item increases the level of the Z warrior community. Friendship influences how characters perform in battle, so be sure to make use of any gifts you have. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we gotta select a gift. Sacred Text of Martial Arts is a gift item. Z Warrior Prophecy plus two, plus friendship plus three. Use Sacred Text of Martial Arts, yes. Z Warrior Community has gone up a rank. One to two. You get friendship rewards by increasing friendship levels after giving items to them. After you, after you give gifts to them, that is. Yep. Talk to Gohan. So, should we sit home now? Let's check out this area a bit more. Okay. I think I'm going to be collecting some items right now. Yeah. yeah, the main, yeah, the theme song of this opening, the opening song is Chala Hechala. They do it in in every Dragon Ball Z episode, from seasons one through six, on the Japanese dub, and we got a power on. Season six and seven through nine. Right, let's talk to Gohan for now. Skip. Oh, we get to ride on an endless cloud. Z orbs. Z orbs are special items you can find on the field or win from battles. Any you find on the field can be collected by approaching them from the side. They are essential for acquiring super attacks, so make sure to collect as many as you can. There are many different types of orbs. Orbs of a certain color can be found near, near areas related to that color. For example, blue orbs can be found by water, green orbs near forest, etc. If you're looking for the Z orbs of a specific color, head to a spot with a lot of that color. The red ones include sand, and the rainbow ones, 
they're pretty rare. All right, we got some eggs. All we gotta do is head to if I if I press R B, you ascend. R, right right trigger, you descend. Uh huh. Yep, this is Goku's Nimbus. You. Master Roshi gave it to him as a gift, so that he can search for Dragon Balls. Mm -hmm. This is... That's why only people with a pure heart can ride on the Nimbus. Oh, remember the Dark Nimbus Cloud that Korin made for Tao? It's really crazy how Korin did that to Tao. The mercenary Tao. Yeah, the assassin from the Crane School. He's the younger brother of Master Shen. Yep. Master Roshi is Goku's teacher. He, though he is a, per, a perverted old man. Well, he wears a, a turtle shell. Does he wear a turtle shell on his back? And he has a partner, a friend named Turtle. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna collect some of these, some of these orbs. Oh my goodness, Chi Chi is a really hot tempered wife of Goku. I remember the Ox King. That's Chi Chi's father. Yeah. Okay, come on, keep collecting these orbs. So this is Grandpa Gohan. That's Go that's Goku's grandfather. Adopted grandfather. Can't pick that. You can't pick up that. That stuff. You can't pick up any items with the Nimbus Cloud right now, Goku. Alright. Let me let me tell you something about Dragon Balls. There are a total of seven Dragon Balls. If you collect all seven Dragon Balls, you summon a dragon named Shenron. In the Saiyan saga, you, you can only grant one wish, that's for sure. You can you can gather any wishes you want, but only if you have one wish. Once the wish is done, the Dragon Balls will scatter and turn into stone. Oh, that apple symbol is where you pick up you collect fruit. Of course. Shut up, Gohan. No one cares what you think. You're so annoying. I'm trying to collect some orbs here. Some more fruit. And I got, got some more orbs to collect, please. All right. Oh, 
What is these things? River shrimp. Nice. Keep on collecting. Uh, I should probably get more apples over there. That's a peach. Those are peaches. And they got peaches too. Oops, I have to finish what Chi Chi asked me to do first. Oops, went a little too far. Well, you can't get sidetracked. Uh, okay. Why are there so many orbs all over the world? Level 35, catching. Come on. Yes. Cool. Ah, there's Chi Chi. Yeah, she's mad. Yeah, I, anyway, talk to Chi Chi and get her to make you some lunch. If you have fruit, meat, fish, or other ingredients, you can get them cooked by Chi Chi or by other cooks. Eating cooked dishes provides special effects such as boost stats has in temporarily support effects. These are called meal effects. Every dish has its own list of, un of necessary ingredients, with richer dishes requiring rarer ingredients. More extravagant full course meals provide even greater effects. You can't cook them right now, but you'll be able to available to as you progress further on your adventure. Okay. All right. This is cooking. You have to make a dish, make a full course meal. You don't have any a full course meal rest ingredients at all. So you have to make a dish right now. Select boiled fish. There are meat dishes, seafood dishes, rice dishes, noodle dishes, and desserts. Chi Chi's a good cook. Boiled fish. 
fish lightly boiled in spices. It's packed with flavor and a real hit in most culinary circles. Status boots, boost 50 HP. One to key defense, plus one key defense, and plus 50 HP. Meal effects, plus 15% to key defense. Alright. He made foil fish times one. Uh, yeah. I have to say, this is some high quality. Uh, search the house. No wonder why Chi Chi is so worried how Goku can teach Gohan how to fight. You gotta search the house. Hey, look. There's a memory photo over there. Mark Stone. This is the stone me and Krillin used in our training. Me and him had to hunt this thing down. Krillin beat me then, only but only because he cheated. I had to go hungry that night. Haha. <laughs> you unlocked the Z Encyclopedia. Piccolo and 18 of the pages have been updated. Where are you off to now, Dad? No, talk to Chi Chi and get the box lunch from her. Yeah, okay. Gotta talk to Chi Chi. And we get Soul Emblem. A Chi Chi Soul Emblem. You got cooking community leader Chi Chi and, and unlocked a new community board. In this community, you can activate community skills that will help you cook. Focus on the, tr on the cooking community if you want to be a better cook. Oh look, are those dumplings? The cooked fish and... and why are there eggs and vegetables and dinosaur meat there and, and butter? And... It's a lot of food. They give you meal success rate. If it's all the way max, it'll be a huge success. That's for sure. Okay. Skip. <sighs> Alright. Looks like... Oh, the story recap. Son Goku, the strongest fighter in the world, leads to a happy life at home with his new family, having been blessed with a child. Goku makes his way to the Kami house where he intends to introduce his son to his teacher, Master Roshi. They're heading to the Kami house just so that they can meet up with Bulma, Krillin, and Master Roshi. Yeah, the narrator is voiced by Doc Morgan. Head to Master Roshi's place to introduce Gohan to everyone. Alright. <laughs> wow. Yep, Krillin is Goku's best friend. This is Bulma. Oh, Bulma was Goku's friend when, ever since he was a child. She's the girl who searched for Dragon Balls and the owner of Capsule Corporation. Oh, this is a rainbow warp. It's one of the rarest things to find. Alright. I'm going to be collecting more orbs right now. So that I could get stronger. Okay. Yes, yeah, Cynthia Cranes did the voice of of Chi Chi in this game, and she also does the voice of Photon from Yu Yu Hakusho. Huh. You remember Yu Yu Hakusho, right? It's a good anime. I love that anime. Alright. Let's go over there. 
shall we? No, let's not go over there just yet. We still got a mission to do, that's for sure. This is the Kame house. Skip. It's been forever since you've seen Krillin. Go talk to him. This is a long do. I don't know. I'm not going to get all memories. That's for sure. Either. In there's Bulma. She is voiced by Monica Rial, who does the voice of... Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, she does the voice of Suyu Asui from My Hero Academia. And let's see, who else? She also did Tsubaki from Soul Eater. Let's head in there. Pick up this pink stuff and we get Sacred Text of Martial Arts. Master Roshi is voiced by Mike McFarland, who does the voice of, who also did the voice of Yajirobe. And let's see here, who else? He did Reisho from Yu Yu Hakusho. The Earth Dude. Let's see, who else? Who else did Mike McFarlane do? He did the voice of, of Oji from My Hero Academia. The, Krillin is voiced by Sonny Strait, who did the voice of Bardock in General Blue, the Red Ribbon Army. Let's see. Sonny Strait did the voice of the villain from, from Season 5 of My Hero Academia. He also did Present Mike from Season 1 of My Hero Academia. And Sonny Strait did Lieutenant Colonel Nace Hughes from Full Metal Alchemist. In fact, let's see here, who else did Sonny Strait voice? He did the voice of Minoru Kamiya from Yu Yu Hakusho, also known as Doctor. Alright, let's talk to him right now. Let's talk to Roshi first. I, can't, I still can't wrap my head around the fact that you've got a kid, Goku. He's a split and spitting image of his old man. Chi-Chi's done a great job raising such a well-behaved kid. So, so this is Kame House. There are all sorts of people here. I'm a little nervous. Oh yeah. I forgot to tell you, Piccolo is voiced by Christopher Sabat, who also does Vegeta, Yamcha, Shenron, Parunga, and who else did Christopher Sabat do? Raccoon, Birder, and Jace. He also does the voice of Alex Louis Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist. And Christopher Sabat did Kyoma Mabuchi from Dimension W. Oh, I've watched Dimension W a long time ago, before the pandemic started. Man, I miss this show. He also does the voice of All Might from My Hero Academia. That's that's for sure. But let's talk to Krillin for now. You've unlocked the Terror Scroll training manual. Oh. You got the following soul emblems. Adult community leader, Master Roshi, and a new community board. That this is the one we got. Okay, in this community, you can activate the community skills that aid in earning Zenny. Building up this community if you want. Build up this community if you want to fill your pockets with extra cash. Yeah, that's a lot of money. <sighs> to pad Master Roshi's into, into dirty magazines. Oh, sub stories. Venture to a blue pillar on the field or speak to a character with a blue exclamation icon above their head to initiate a sub story. Completing the sub story will net you experience points, valuable items, and or soul emblems. Some sub stories can only be completed at certain times, so make sure to do them when you can. Playable characters. Sub stories can only be completed with certain characters. If you're having trouble completing the story, 
listen to the hints provided and change characters. A long overdue reunion. Talk to Krillin again. Let's just talk to Turtle. Hmm, what's going on with you? You seem pretty beat. Uh oh, uh, that's Turtle. He is Master Roshi's pet. Turtle's voiced by Chris Kaysen, who does the voice of Gluttony from Full Metal Alchemist. Let's see here. Something's up? Are you hiding something? I am, uh. That nabbit, he, he went and hit my buck again. That's our Master Roshi's voice. I don't know what he's talking about. He's gone. Oh, hey, Goku. Have you seen that blasted turtle? Tortoise? Yeah, but he ran off somewhere. Tortoise? Are you seriously still calling him that? You know that's not his name, right? But, but never mind that. It's Turtle, dude. What about my book? That pain in the butt hit my book somewhere. What, what kind of book is it? Is it really that special? Of course it's special. It's my most prized possession. If I don't have it, then I... I... Okay. Master Roshi's prized possession. Turtle has hidden Master Roshi's book. It has to be around here somewhere. Okay, you get two orbs, two energetic fish, one book for grown-ups, one D-metal. There are D-metals everywhere. And also, 44 experience points. Let's help Master Roshi find his book. All right, here we go. Well, if it's really that important to you, I guess I could help you find it. Really? That's mighty kind of you, Goku. So, what kind of book is it? It's a, a swimsuit photograph collection. Man, you haven't changed a bit, have you, Master Roshi? I'll search the attic. You look outside. You got it. <laughs> look at Goku's hair. All right, what should I do now? As Goku, talk to people and try to find out. Okay, okay. As Goku, talk to people and try to find out more about the photograph collection. Let's talk to Gohan. Nope. You mean that geezer's filthy book? Like I would know. Well, uh, then you would know where I can find Tortoise? If you're looking for a tor uh, turtle, I saw him heading toward the back of the house. <laughs> Whoa. That's Goku. Talk to Turtle. Why not check behind the house? Check behind the house, Goku. He's over there. No, don't jump. Wrong button. <sighs> Hey, Tortoise, so where did you hide Master Roshi's book? It's Turtle, Goku. You should know that by now. I'm sorry, but I can't tell you where the book is. Master Roshi's reading enough of that thing. He needs to learn some self-control, and that's why it belongs in the ground. The ground? Wait, he buried it somewhere? It's got to be in the ground. Find the photographic collection turtle has hidden. The dirt here looks like it can be dug into. Take a closer look. Yes. Looks like it's buried somewhere under the ground. Aha! Here it is. You found the girly book. Oh, wow. Hey, look what I found. I found your book, Master Roshi. Oh, you found it. You're the best, Goku. You handed over the item. I knew I was right to take you on as my student. I'm counting on you to help me out when that troublesome turtle hides it again. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Story completed. All right, now we get some rewards. Now we got to talk to Krillin again. I hit the wrong button. In the Turtle School Training Manual, you'll find a variety of training exercises. Talking to people is one of them. That's right. Conversations aren't just to pass the time. They are an important way to gather valuable information. 
some helpful, not, some not so much. You then take uh, you then take that info and use it to broaden your understanding. Remember, your ears are just as important as your fists. Cheat these dumb. I know. Yeah, you said it already, Bulma. Now let's talk to Krillin again. You got a D medal from Krillin. Okay. Training grounds has been unlocked. Check out the training grounds. Let's get that thing. Oh, is this the one from the third episode of Dragon Ball? Present from Master Roshi? A manually aimed key volley with homing properties that make it easy to connect hits can be used against multiple enemies. Consecutive energy blasts. You need 1D metal. Spends D metals to acquire super attacks. I'm not going to get all D metals in this. I'm not going to do all training. All right, launch a Kamehameha and kick Krillin's butt. Yeah, he keeps on moving. Why does he keep moving? Come on, charge up your key, man. Ow. This is great. Come on, man. Oh, no, he's got a counter. Maybe hitting him in the back would be helpful. Stepping, dodging. Dodge an attack at a close range. Press A just as the attack is about to hit you to perform a step maneuver. Your opponent will enter a slow motion state, making it the perfect chance to launch your counter attack. Additionally, successfully dodging an attack will fill your tension gauge. Dodging will help you offensively, defensively, and in terms of movement. So it's important to skill. So it's an important skill to master. Ow. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Christopher Savage did the voice of Zarbon, too. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, it's a skirmish. Gotta press the X button rapidly. You gotta mash X buttons so that you gotta, you gotta do it correctly so you can hit your opponent. Because if you don't do it, you will take a direct hit. You learn a consecutive energy blast. Cool. Well, that's all I can do. Talk to Krillin one more time. Oh, uh, thanks. Okay, just press the wrong button. So he's got your lux, but does he have your powers too? I'm betting that he's pretty strong if I had to guess. But I can't be sure since Chi Chi won't let me train him to find out one way or the other. Let's continue on the story. Skip it. Son Goku, the strongest fighter in the world, leads a happy life at home with his new family. Having been blessed with a child, Goku makes his way to the Kami house where he tends to introduce his son to his teacher, Master Roshi. I already said that last time. Oh, this is from episode 2 of Dragon Ball Z. I remember that episode a long time ago. Now look, there's a farmer. And there's Piccolo. Okay, super boost flight. Press left stick while boosting to, and fly at a high speed. Boosting consumes key, so keep an eye on your key consumption as you boost. Your key will automatically recover when you stop boosting. By pressing the LB on the field or mid flight, you can detect the key of nearby animals, plants, and other living things. Use this feature to find items, animals to hunt, dinosaurs, key items, food, training grounds, locations, and more. This is a great way to easily find a variety of far off things or something specific you're looking for, so use it when you can. Finding enemies by searching for key. While moving on the field, press LB to search your surroundings for key and detect where your enemies are, how many there are, and where they're facing. 
Use this info to get the jump on them or avoid fighting them all together. You can also gauge enemy strength based on the color of their key. Blue, weaker than you. Yellow, just as strong as you. Red, stronger than you. Oh, there's going to be, oh, is that the pirate robot from Dragon Ball? Key blast. Use left trigger to enter a first person view. While in this view, press X to fire a key blast. It will hold the button to fire a charge of key blast. If you hit an animal with a key blast, you'll stun it and make it easier to catch. You can also hit terrain and other obstacles to collect materials. Try hitting a variety of things while in the field. You can find special wild tunnels called airways in every area. Traveling through airways is a great way to collect sea orbs. You can enter one by touching either the entrance or any point along the tunnel. Once you're in, you'll automatically be carried through by the wind. You can exit an airway with a boosted flight, but you won't be able to enter one with, while boosting. Phantom Airways Phantom Airways are rare airways that appear on the field. They not only contain more Z-orbs than normal airways, but also rare types of Z-orbs and items. However, they will disappear once you leave the area. So if you find one, make sure to ride it while you can. Alright. Is that Fortune Teller Baba? I think that's Master Roshi's sister. Yeah, you got D metal. If I press A button in two times, I'll be able to fly. Yep, a village. Let's pick some up. Let's talk to Fortune Teller Baba. Hmm, so that's what happened. It's, it's nice to reminisce and visit place for moments past every once in a while. You want to visit a place like this, don't you? I can help you find one, you know. They cost 1,000 zenny. Excellent, and it seems you've got enough money. Let's begin the reading. A memorial spot for this area has been marked onto your map. This place, this should be in the place. It's up to you whether you go there or now or later. Okay. Let's cause some destruction. Better yet, let's not right now. This is all a village. Okay, get the rainbow ones. Whoa. I'm going to collect some orbs for now. Oh look! What's this thing? Are those phantom orbs? Time orbs! Time orbs are special Z orbs that when collected make multiple Z orbs appear nearby for a limited time. Some rare orbs will show up too, so make sure to use Use things like the roll or boost actions during the flight to collect them as quickly as you can. If you press the Y button, right? Come on. Come on, man. While you're underwater, your air gauge will deplete. Returning to the surface will replenish the gauge. You can find items in a little fish underwater. They're hard to see from above the water, but if you find a group of birds hovering above a spot, dive there to see what you can find. If your air gauge is completely depleted, you will be forced back to the surface. So pay attention to how much air you have left. Okay. No, don't press the wrong button. This isn't the best time right now. Oh, if I do this. No, that was not the best time right now. Head in the direction of that mysterious key and find out who's, who it, whose it is. Alright. Yep, it is a well-designed bridge. Collect this. 
Hey, look, there's a pterodactyl. I wonder if I could shoot it. Come on, blast him. Yeah, you get red pterosaur fang. The vermilion pterosaur has been updated. If you're looking for beast meat, there's no further ahead than the animals here. Oh, look, these are gazelles. You hit the animals, they get stunned. And you have a great chance to catch it. You got beast meat and beast horn. Oh, look, enemies. We're going to fight some pirates. Some skull robo types. Yeah, these are the ones from Dragon Ball, right? Come on, die. We get... We get some mechanical items. Hey, oh look, it's Launch. That's the girl who sneezes and turns into... The blonde one's the mean one. The blue hair one's the sweet Launch. Let's talk to her. Huh? What do you want? I ain't, the, I ain't the greatest mood right now. Uh, I make one wrong turn, and I ended up driving the damn car and all the treasure I stole off a cliff. I really screwed up this time. <laughs> Her accent's really crazy. Okay, oh yeah. Launch is voiced by Marita McCoy, who also does the voice of Android 18 in this game. I'm going to beat some robots up so that I can increase my level. Okay, let's do a explosive wave. X button, rapid key fire wave. Consecutive energy blast. This is a super attack in which you use control stick during the attack to aim at your opponent and, and fire off key blast. Successfully targeting an opponent will deal extra damage. There are two types of uh, this kind. One in which you fire off multiple blasts as you move the cursor, and one in which you lock onto a target and fire a blast. The latter is particularly useful if you with bigger accuracy or if your target is small and hard to hit. Oh, come on. Try again. I gotta fill up my key, please. So I can, so I can beat you up. Yeah, that's, that's all. That's for sure. Alright. Alrighty then. Let's start by collecting more of these orbs. <laughs> there are enemies appearing on the field. If you have a higher attack, you have a better chance of knocking them out in one hit. But but you have to have a you have to have five times. Higher level than your opponent. Come on. Gotcha. Come on. How do I roll? Seriously. Oh, you do it by pressing the Y button. Right, when well, you're not boosting up speed, I mean, wow. Come on. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Well, that's a heck of a lot of combos. Oh, watch out for that missile attack. Come on, die. Don't let them stun you. That purple bar is the stun meter. Level up. Skull Robo Type 1 has been updated. Blast him. Come on, blast him, bro. There we go. There we go, Piccolo. Oh, I remember in Dragon Ball Z, the original Dragon Ball, 
I remember the the King Pick the Piccolo Junior saga, where Goku fights Piccolo in the in the tournament. Oh, look, we got crystals on a, on a we got Ori iron. It's a lot of crystals in in a cave. Gotcha. Yep. Come on. Collect some. And catch. Prairie gazelle. There are lots of gazelles there. Some of them are rare, you know. So much easier if I, if I don't boost if I don't boost up. All right. Let's go into that that phantom airway right now. Shall we? Oh no. We might even find some rare items right now. Oh great. If I do it like three times I'll get even more gra gradually well oh, gradually boost. Waterfall. Old Ore. If I hold the X button, I'll be able to charge up key. Let's start by fishing, shall we? Some crabs we got for bait. Use the bait so that it attracts fish. A lot of fish. Well, Piccolo gets a fishing hook. And they increase drop item drop rates. Well, there's no guarantee for sure. Come on. There correctly, we got red catfish. Scarlet catfish. Like Urza Scarlet from Fairy Tale. Right? And Scarlet from Space Dandy. Yep. So we've got some bad guys to deal with. A piece of scrap. I remember that episode of Dragon Ball when Goku defeated the giant with pirate robot before facing General Blue. Oh look, is that Emperor Pilaf and his gang, including Mai and Shu? Drat, drat, double drat. Thanks to this buffoons in the cave. I can't get my hands on the treasure I hid in there. Maybe we should call it quits for today, Emperor Pilaf. Mai's voiced by Colleen Clinkenbeard in this game. We could always wait until those cars are gone, Emperor Pilaf. Yeah, Chris Kaysen also did, did shoe, and Chuck Huber does the voice of Emperor Pilaf and Android 17 in this game. And he also did he also did the voice for Master Sh Master Shen, Mercenary Tao's older brother. That's for sure. That's the grumpy old man. This he's one of the the, 
the crane teacher. He used to be a friend of Master Roshi's, but now he betrayed him. All right. Come on. Keep collecting, man. Yes. You can collect them all. Whoa. All right, guys. I'm, I'm still collecting more of these orbs, for sure. Yay. <sighs> you punk robots alone. Yep, so that's all. How to destroy everything that's in my path. Right now. On. Die, robot. Robot scum. Ow. Okay. 20 experiences earned. Man, why am I getting less experience in this? I'm thinking of picking up some wolf meat from that tree. Oh, I remember Goku had wolf meat in the the second episode of Dragon Ball. I'll kill that annoying skull robo types. Come on, get away from me. Stay away from me. Die. Die. Come on, collect some more. Stop wasting your key energy, Piccolo. You might want to rest, dude. Probably eat a meal first. Hmm. No wonder why Piccolo doesn't eat. He doesn't end up on the end of like Guru. Right? Alright. Still Nut L. Oh, did you notice that Chuck Hubert is the voice of Garlic Jr. from the Dragon Ball movie? Dead Zone? A memorial spot. No, it is. It actually is a memorial spot, but okay. That's going to be really annoying to find all this D metals. Yo, 
still create a ton of stress right now, wouldn't it? All right. Die. How would you like this? Okay. Keep on collecting some items, Piccolo. Yeah. Oh yeah, Piccolo's name gets it from a flute. Yeah, I remember that one of the Dragon Ball villains, one of King Piccolo's henchmen, including tambourine, rum, and cymbal, and piano. Whoa, no, don't, oh no, come on, I hit the wrong way, I went the wrong way, come on, move. Seriously, that, that's, come on. Oh, come on, hurry up, seriously, Piccolo. Sometimes you can draw in a surprise attack. S rank. Demon Clan style has been updated. Okay. Oh, surprise attack is where you beat two enemies. Is when you beat a lot of enemies. One, one. Ouch. Want to die? Okay. Still gotta collect some more orbs. Right now. Probably go underwater and collect some items. The shags. Oh, but I watch my air meter. Because nobody can breathe underwater there. Don't you want to know why? You're not a fish, okay? Well, I'm out of key. Stay out of my way, you, you robot bozo. All right, charge up your key, buddy. Checkmate. Ouch. I just got hit after defeating a robot. Why in the world are there so many orbs? Press the white button while flying. Okay, stay out of my way. Alright, oh, that was from Dragon Ball Z Episode 1. 
where riots and evil stain appeared and he killed a farmer. Yeah, Raditz is the dude with the long hair. He's one of the first villains in the series. In Dragon Ball Z, right? Clock some more, please. More orbs, bro. Da -da -da. Come on, I gotta get more stronger, please. Got some enemies to battle. The more S ranks I get, the more chances of getting in, getting more experience points. Okay, still I gotta get more experience, more of these orbs. That's how they need to do it. Okay. Get the rainbow orb. Oh look, a village. So this is a village. It's okay, Prince. Oh yeah, I think something fell out of the sky near the village. Should be northeast of there. Oh look, there's a grocer. We we offer the freshest ingredients here. You can sell any items, including, let's see here, let's see, iron, you, you can use, the, it is used to build machine and parts as well to power them up. Oh, those fossil items. Okay, they give you more money, like Zdeni. Okay, let's talk to him again. The food shop includes Vita Drink, Vita Drink Medium, Vita Drink Large, Chicken, Rice, Wheat, Milk. Oh, remember that Full Metal Alchemist episode where Edward Elric hates milk? He refused to drink milk because of his size. Tofu, egg, bean paste, carrot, onion, carrots for the eyes. And that's it. I don't want to waste any Zenny. And the trader, I got some sort of treasures for sales. Material shops. They got they got machine parts and baits. See ya. And, uh -oh, but, and you gotta bring ingredients for her. This one includes whole roast on bone, roasted meat cooked with a hint of apple. Tastes like the wilderness. All right, let's get grilled fish. Oh, we don't have any rice or enough chicken. Needy ramen desserts. I'll probably try this. Alrighty then. Seriously, I'm gonna go over there and talk to her. Oops, wrong button. Hey, I just saw something really crazy. It was a UFO. At least that's what I'm going with. It sounds way cooler than a stupid meteorite. Why are there so many the people in their animella form. 
Let's talk to him. Guide, you can get the latest info on your travel destinations here. Guides can, has, can sell you information on key locations and events in the area. The information this will be displayed on your map. If you're new to an area, you can save yourself some zenny and explore it yourself. Or you can pay a guide to give you the info you need right away. Alright. Let's see here. Some hunting spots. And then you also have fruit tree location. Oh. They don't wouldn't include the tree of might fruit. That that Turles used. Remember Turles from from the movie The Tree of Might, the Dragon Ball Z movie, the third one? He's a Saiyan. An evil guy who looks like Goku. If he eats the fruit, he gets stronger. The more fruit he eats, the stronger he becomes. Yeah. Hunting spot information is up here. Alright. Let's just stay focused on collecting warps first right now, shall we? Should we do it? If I would. Actually, let's just level up first. Before we face Raditz. Okay. Oh, the items respawn. I'll show you a, some more orbs right now. Keep rolling. I'm just going to keep collecting more orbs and stuff. Come on, dude. There we go. Yay, level up. Any more orbs? Please? Alright, just take a breather, bro. Okay, if I press the select button, it'll show me your map area. Oh, we got beast symbols. The dinosaur habitats. This is the one right there. That I'm going to show you. La 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 Come on, let's beat the crud out of these, these annoying robot. Come on, die. Yay. Come on. Let's 
some more. Oh, wow, we got a dinosaur over there. So this is the dinosaur that appeared in the opening of Dragon Ball Z. With that, the one, the one that was chasing Gohan. I remember him. Got him. They're off to collecting more orbs. I'll deal with you, robot, first. Oh, this one's a level two this time. You don't have any support right now. So that's why you're alone, that's for sure. Let's aim for him. You hit the dinosaur, it'll provoke, you'll provoke him. And Warning, fire key blast to defeat the dinosaur. Okay, they will attack you, but you don't lose health. Come on, stay away. Take that, you dinosaur scum. You get dino meat. Grandiosaurus. Yeah, I'm not going to get all the encyclopedias in this one right now. I'm not going to get all of them. Out of my way. Leave me alone. Come on. Get away from me. Got the key fire. All right. Yep, that's all. Wow, so many of these orbs. I don't know why I'm collecting all the orbs, but I keep getting getting caught by annoying enemies. Why are they ganging up on me? All right. Die, robot scum. Take that, scraphead. <laughs> yeah, scraphead. Yeah, this is kind of reminding me of Binary Domain, where Dan Marshall calls one of the robot enemies scrapheads. How evil are those robots? Right. I'll I'll kill some more robots. Mm. 
Yes. That's more like it. Yay. Still gotta charge up my key. Is there anyone over there? Okay. Let's battle. No. Uh, stop that. All I gotta do is guard. Get, get off me. Come on. Ah! Gotta do it when the enemy's not attacking you with key blast. Gonna say go avoid gotta hurry. Oh out of my way, coming through. Okay, what is the difference between Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Z Kai? And, you know, dra the, the Dragon Ball Z it had a lot of episodes. In Kai, it's kind of based on the manga and real version of Dragon Ball Z with different voice actors and stuff. Uh, look, but I've seen Dragon Ball Super. It's really great. I watched all the episodes. Alright, alright. Start collecting more of these orbs. But first, I'm gonna kill that annoying robot for standing in my friggin' way. That's still not enough. Please charge up your key. Yeah, you already asked me to guard. Now shut up. Stop hitting me. Yep. So that's all. Okay. Fancy earrings. It's one of the rarest items to find. Come on. Got some more of these. Robots are nothing but a nuisance. Oh, stay out of my way. Come on. Get the deer. Get the beast meat. Ah. 
I'm going to fish over there. No, don't press the Y button right now. Just fish. Oh, heck, there's a big fish over there. Yay. What do we get? Ruby trout. You're about to leave the area. No distractions. I need to figure out the source of that power. You don't even get it. Okay. Let's, let's, let's beat him up. Come on. You know let's just keep battling. That's not enough to take these robots down right now. Ow. Perfect. You know what? Oh, more orbs. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna fight some more enemies so I can get stronger and beat some boss battles. Come on. Get the crap out of that skull robot type. If I can do it some more. Oh, let's let's just Hit that, hit that monster over there. Yay. Come on. Yeah, I got you. Come on. Blast this thing. Gonna cut some cut down some trees right now. Oh, we gotta battle that robot. Here we go. Exactly. Yeah. Ow. No, that's indestructible. Keep on beating him up. Yeah. Let's 
still got to get stronger. Let's see. Come on. Tail Whip. Did he just learn that move? What is this, Pokemon? Is it going to lower the defenses? Some of these fruits. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick your butts. If I hold the B button, I'll do a charge melee attack. Never touch cactuses, that's really dangerous. All right, now let's proceed. That's Raditz. That's him I was talking about. He's a level three now. Guarding. You can guard against attacks by holding left trigger. Even if you're taking damage from an attack, you can start guarding right away and take as little damage as possible. Guard for too long, however, and you will eventually have your guard broken, leaving you defenseless for some time. Avoid this by alternating between stepping and guarding on when on the defensive in battle. Alright. Press X while guarding to send nearby opponents flying. This is called a burst. Burst can cancel your opponent's action, making it a great evasive maneuver in a pinch. Vanish attacks. Press A while guarding an attack to quickly maneuver behind your opponent and send them flying. This is called a vanish attack. This uses up a lot of key, but it's a great way to launch a counterattack. Keep the pressure on your opponent by bursting it by using bursts at a close range and vanish attacks at a distance. Like this. Follow up. You have to do it by pressing the B button correctly. Alright. Now Raditz is voiced by Justin Cook, who does the voice of Yusuke Urameshi from Yu Yu Hakusho, and Eijiro Kirishima from the anime My Hero Academia. And why does Raditz have, have weekend mo pun based pun moves? I'll stop with the weekend move puns, Raditz. You know, Raditz has a scouter that can detect power levels. Yep. The one Raditz was looking for was Kakarot. The one everyone calls Goku. That's Goku's Saiyan name. Arriving suddenly in a strange pod from outer space, a mysterious man with a tail just like Goku makes an unexpected entrance. Shortly after landing, he handily defeats Piccolo, one of Earth's most formidable fighters. Yeah, that's right. Oh. So that's why Raditz was been looking for Goku. The one who refers to him as Kakarot. That's his Saiyan name. We'll get to fight Raditz. This appeared in episode 2 of Dragon Ball Z. The truth was Raditz is Goku's older brother. He was, he was sent on Earth trying to exterminate humans. Why in the world would... And I remember Krillin trying to, to escort Raditz out of here and Raditz hit him with his tail. I mean, what kind of a jerk does that to Goku? Oh. 
Oh man, Raditz is trying to force Goku to eliminate 100 humans in, in 24 days. Why in the world would he ever do that? That's why Goku was born on the, on the planet called Planet Vegeta. But Planet Vegeta was destroyed. Come on, stop disappearing, Raditz. Okay, what rank did we get? S rank. Level up. All right. Skip that. Hey, look. This is where Go Raditz kidnaps Gohan. It happened in episode three of Dragon Ball Z, and Piccolo shows up at the Kame house. Rad and Gohan was crying when Raditz took him hostage. Because he's a Saiyan. Oh, we all we get is Vita drinks. Press X to register a palais. Select the palais to which you like to register items. Y, X, B, or A. Pick which one. I'll go with what. I'll go with the Y button. Yeah, that's all. Select which characters will use the item. Okay. Earth Stream Team to the rescue. After progressing to a certain point in the main story, you will begin to travel with, with and fight alongside other characters. These support characters can assist you in a variety of ways in battle, so don't forget they're here to help. You can have support character performed by a, a super attack assist in battle by holding RB to open the support pallet and pressing B, A, X, or Y to use the attack to that button. Afterward, the icon will darken and you will have to wait a little while to use their attack game. Using a super attack assist will also fill the support gauge for that character. When a support character's support gauge is half full, the character will automatically perform an assist and help you offensively, defensively, or in some other way. What types of assist they perform depends on the style they use. There are three different types of styles. Additionally, the higher the character's friendship is, in the, is the higher the, cap the capacity of the support gauge will be. Giving a support character gifts from this community op option on the so all of them screen will increase their friendship. Offensive characters, offensive supports characters will prioritize attacking the opponent over anything else. They will chase after opponents you've knocked away and perform super attacks in the coordination with your own. <sighs> Defensive characters, defensive support characters will take action to protect you during battle, including hindering enemy attacks and blocking enemy key loss. Special support characters will restore your HP and key. They will also have slight chance of chasing after enemies or hindering their attacks like offensive and defensive types, respectively. You can now travel to other areas. Move uh, to other areas via the world map. Access the world map by pressing Y on the area map screen, moving to the edge of the field or by flying high into the sky. The following information is available on the world map. Obtainable materials, obtainable team medals, dragon balls of enemy, available sub-stories. Okay. Follow Raditz. Head toward Luka Village on the world map. Come on. Cool. Still got to collect some more orbs right now. No. 
what? Press the Y button to go to the world map. Select an icon on the world map to move to that area. Main story destinations are indicated with red pillars, while sub-stories are denoted with blue pillars. Progressing through the main story will give you access to more areas that you can visit. Selecting an icon on the world map will display obtainable D medals for that area above the area name shown on the left side of the screen. Each ravine area has been unlocked. Okay. The acquirable, they, they include acquirable materials. That's for sure. Let's go to Luca Village in the East Ravine area right now. Raditz, a man claiming to be Goku's brother and a member of a warrior race known as the Saiyans, promptly defeats Goku and makes off with Gohan. Piccolo then arrives and the two agree to team up. That device he had on his ear was a scouter. He can detect power levels. Now fly while playing as Goku. Vehicles. Vehicles like flying nimbus can be written. Dismounted from or changed using the following controls. Down button, dismount. Left to right, view vehicle palais, select vehicle. Up, right, select vehicle. Rumble with rats. Find rats and get Gohan back. Yep. The tail is his weak point. That was the one that squeezed Gohan, Goku's tail he, when he was a kid. And Kami pulled off Piccolo, Goku's tail off. Let's talk to Yajirobe. Stay out of my way, you annoying skull robot type. Scum. Oh yeah, Mike McFarlane did the, did the voice of Yajirobe. Yeah, this is the one where Goku met Yajirobe as a kid after stealing his food. Hey, I heard this crazy noise up ahead, so I thought I'd go check it out. Something might come crashing down, though, so maybe I'd better keep my distance. What do you say you go check it out for me, huh? Yeah, he's fat and grumpy. Okay. Is that poor? That's Yamcha's friend, right? Well, wrong button. Please don't jump. I was just relaxing here in Luca Village. Then I heard this really loud noise all the way over there. No, I'm too scared to relax. If I give you this, we will check out and make and what made that noise. You got energy supplements. So what is it? I'm still a little uneasy. All right. Hey, look. That's Nam. He's the guy from the World Martial Arts Tournament saga. From the Dragon Ball World Martial Arts Tournament saga. Yeah, Nam is voiced by Jerry Jewell. I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. Hmm? Wait, you're... That hair, that outfit. You're Goku, aren't you? Yup, that's me. Who are you? I am Nam. Don't you not? Do you not remember me? We fought at the World World Tournament. Oh yeah, I remember you from the tournament. So what are you doing here? I'm bringing the fruit harvested in my village with me in the hopes of selling it. My village is quite poor, so I'm trying to earn as much money as I can. Huh? Okay, sounds pretty tough. Unfortunately, I'm not making very much money. I thought I could sell my fruit for a high price. I guess I'm not as much as a salesman, but at this rate I won't be able to bring water and food to my village. Oh, I hate to trouble you, but would you be able to assist me? Uh, Nam is running into problems with his cart business. Help his people by helping him. If you press no, what would he say? Sorry, but now's not a good time. I see. Forgive my selfish request. Please forget, I ask. I'd love to help, but... What's that? You'll help me sell my fruit? Yes. I will. 
Huh. Now I'm the peddler. Sure, you seem like you're here in a real bind. Oh my, thank you. You're selling that fruit, huh? What does it taste like? Well, it keeps enough, but its flavor will... Gotcha! Yeah, that's gotta be hard to sell. You got anything else? My village is mostly sand and rocks. Look! You got shiny rock. Whoa, they sure are sparkly. Haha, <laughs> they certainly are. But this isn't gold or silver, just rocks. I dug up when I tilled the land. I bring them with me to give to children I meet along the way. I bet there are some people that buy these. <laughs> I highly doubt that. First things first, we gotta find someone here who knows more about this stuff. Right, thank you. Oh, Nam is voiced by Jerry Jewell, who does the voice of Kyo Soma from Fruits Basket. Ask Goku, find someone who knows something about oh, rocks. As I was saying, Jerry Jewell provided the voice of Kyo Soma from Fruits Basket. Yeah, Kyo Soma is the freak out dude who turns into a cat. If you hug him, he'll freak out. Turns into an orange cat. Jerry Jewel also does the voice of Principal Nezu from My Hero Academia. Mm. Jerry Jewel also did the voice of here, Suzaku from Yu Yu Hakusho and, and Jin from Yu Yu Hakusho as well. well. Let's talk to that man. Hi, I got a question for you. You know anyone who's an expert on rocks? Rocks? I may be able to help you, but I used to be a miner. Great! Mind, mind taking a look at these? You showed him the shiny rocks. Hmm, I've never seen rocks like these before. They're certainly not gemstones. Oh, really? But I'm sure my daughter would love them. Could I take off, take them off your hands? But we're not trying to sell them, actually. Oh, I see. My apologies. Would you trade them for this? It's an ammonite fossil. I tried to give it to my daughter, but she thought it was too creepy. Sure, yeah, I'll trade you for that. Are you sure you want to give it up, though? It seems pretty rare. Ha ha ha, don't worry, you can find them all over the place around here. A lot of city folk come around here and dig for fossils in the rocky area up north. Oh yeah? Yes, Goku, talk to some of digging... Some digging, uh, let's see here. Some digging for... Someone digging for fossils. You gotta talk to someone digging for fossils right now. But first, let's beat these. Let's beat these annoying robot scum up. Robot scums, that is. There are two of them, so I gotta use my plural correctly. All right. Gotta find someone digging for fossils. Gotta watch my key. There. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention to you that Jerry Jewell did the voice for Vasily from the anime Michiko and Hatchin. He also does the voice of, let's see here, Moblet from Attack on Titan. And besides, did you know that, Zo that Piccolo sounds like Zoro from One Piece when he talks? Let's talk to him, shall we? Hey there! You looking for something? Uh, huh? Oh yeah, I'm digging up fossils. I heard you could find a bunch around there. I've been digging it for days and it's still coming up empty. Maybe this is the wrong spot. I told my friend I'd find some, so I can't just head back empty-handed like this. Huh? Well, I've got a fossil. I got one! Wanna buy it from me? You show him the ammonite fossil. Whoa, that's a real fossil, isn't it? But I don't have any money on me right now. I'll trade you for it then. Let's see here. I don't know, would you trade it for this? Water capsule. 
food capsule. There's a lot in there. I got what I came for, so don't so I don't need it anymore. It's yours. Great, it's a deal. I bet none will be happy to see this. Okay, everyday misadventures has been updated. As Goku deliver the food and water to Nam. Alright. Gotta deliver the water and food to Nam. Yeah, I don't have to collect every orbs in this. I don't have to get all orbs right now. But let's talk to let's talk to our buddy. On where are you now? Hey now. Oh, how did it go? We gave the capsule to Nam. Those shiny rocks ended up uh, getting you this. Oh my goodness, this is filled with an abundance of food and water. How can I ever thank you for this? Don't worry about it. It would be really weird if you got a super formal on me. <laughs> you certainly Master Roshi's student, all right. I had no idea those rocks would be able to provide me this much. This could, be, this could mean that there may be more valuable rocks hidden in my fields. At any rate, I should be getting back to my village with this food and water. I owe you a great deal, Goku. Glad to help. I'm going to get going, too. Please visit my village whenever you have the chance. Yeah, I remember Ran Fan beating Nam, um, trying to beat Nam up. Oh, we got a soul emblem from Nam. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Next up, let's go over there. Oh, look. Is that Android 8? There's, oh, the Goku called him Aider. That's him. It can't be Aider? Goku. Aider is voiced by Mike McFarlane, too. I remember him from Dragon Ball when he first met him in Muscle Tower after Ninja Murasaki tried to control him. And, but he's, Goku destroyed the control and beat Murasaki up. And General White threatened Aider to kill Goku or the village chief. So Aider punched General White in the face, sending him that way in Muscle Tower. And Dr. Flap had to get rid of that bomb that was in his heart. Is that you? In the flesh. Goku, I'm so glad to see you. Go, me too. What are you doing here? Following a lead. The robots are running amok in the area. I came to stop them. You did? Are you itching for a fight or something? I actually hate fighting. He hates violence. But these robots are units abandoned by the Red Ribbon Army a long time ago. I need to stop them. Could you help me out? Hmm. One of the Red Ribbon Army's robots is on the loose. Take care of it and put Aider's mind at ease. You know, the Red Ribbon Army is an evil organization. Led by Commander Red. His, their goals are to destroy Goku and collect all the seven Dragon Balls. Oh, so that Commander Red would wish, would wish to be, can wish, and so that Commander Red can be tall, can get tall for his wish. And until Staff Officer Black shot Commander Red in the head. And he betrayed him. And Goku beat him up. One of the members of the Red Ribbon Army include Colonel Silver, General White, Ninja Murasaki, let's see here, Bouillon, General Blue, oh, General Blue is that, that gay dude, with telekinetic power until Mercenary Tau killed him. Uh, oh, Captain Yellow, he's that anthropomorphic tiger of the Red Ribbon Army. And the commander is Commander Red, and his assistant is Staff Officer Black. Oh yeah. Well, one of them were killed, except for Colonel Silver and, and Colonel Violet. 
And they also got Dr. Giro, one of the Red Ribbon Army member. Yeah, I remember that Dragon Ball super movie superhero. It's with Magenta, the Red Ribbon Army. He was a he was a bad guy. Let's stop the robot threat right now. Gentle Giant. I'll kick their metal butts into last millennium. You should wait here. Huh? You don't like to fight, right? Yes, but don't worry about me. Fighting robots sounds like fun. I see. Thank you. Just point me in the direction. Yeah, they're not here. Maybe they're over there. The location of the robots has been marked on your map. Maybe over there. Roger that. I'll get on it. Gentle Giant, head out there to defeat the rampaging robot as Goku right now. Boop. Let's robo rumble, you robo bozos. We got mech soldiers at a level five, and we also got a red ribbon army recovery bit over there. That's going to be really annoying. Come on, come on, die! Oh, I hate those guys. They never learn how to stop. Do they? Oh, there's another one. Sometimes they call for attack bits. That's an attack bit over there. And it's, and they're going to attack you. The recovery bit recovers their allies. Come on, die. Don't self-destruct on me. Yay, we got 207 experience points, that's for sure. Phew, that was a great workout. I better head back to Vader. I took care of your robot problem, Vader. Really? Thank you. Unlike you, I never liked fighting, so I really appreciate the help, Goku. If only I could give you something in return. Ah, how about these? They're vegetables from the village. I bought extra, knowing how big of an eater you are. Carrot and onion. They look tasty. Food's the one thing I never seem to have enough of. Thanks, Ader. Thanks, Ader. No, Goku. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Don't get all formal on me, Ader. We're friends, remember? Of course. You're my best friend, Goku. That's his other best friend, as well as Krillin. All right. Hey, we got a soul, a soul emblem, Android Eight soul emblem. Cool. That's cool. Now we're gonna go over there and and kick Radis's butt. I'm gonna go give him a taste of his own medicine for sure. Okay, let's just beat these robots up right now. Okay. 
I'm gonna find a rabbit and give him a taste of his own medicine right now. I remember that episode of Dragon Ball Z when Raditz destroyed the truck of the farmer in front of Gohan, scaring him, and he started crying. And Raditz goes, Shut up! Stop crying! And Gohan cried and saying, I don't know why you're so mean. I didn't do anything to you. And Gohan keeps crying even louder. And Raditz goes, Quiet, you fool. Be strong. You are one of the Saiyans. And he puts him in the space pod. There, you can come out when you're quiet down. And Raditz like, much better. Well, why does this Gohan's cry annoy the living heck out of Raditz? It's pretty messed up. And then Raditz had to eat something. All because of it, the racket Gohan made. Okay, let's beat rats first and get Gohan back. That's for sure. But I keep saying that's for sure. Okay. Oh, look, wolves. How do we get wolf meat? Oh, look, there's that rusted truck over there. If you destroy it, you'll get some item. Come on. Right there. Press B to destroy it so that you can get some parts. D metal. Excellent. <laughs> Why did it dress go uh, Piccolo as Green Man? Pretty funny. Come on. Die, you annoying robot. Why? Come on. Yay, level up. Oh, glad I'm on the same level as Piccolo right now. I'm going to keep killing some more robots so that I can get stronger. Stop doing that. You already said guard. Now shut up. Alright. Alright, then let's... Let's go and... Whoa. Let's go and battle rats. But first, eating. Eating food dishes can permanently increase your stats and provide limited time support effects as well. Boost to your stats won't boost to your stats won't amount to much too much from one just one dish, but they are support but any support effects will be much greater due to their time limits. Eating multiple dishes at once will allow you to gain a variety of effects. The more you eat, the stronger you'll get. So fill up whenever you can, especially if you know you're up against a tough opponent tough opponent character growth. Everything in the game's world is meant to help Goku and his friends grow. Experience as much as you can and create an adventure all on your own. There's so many ways to grow on your adventure. Eat meals, battle, explore, communities, train. Okay, 
use the goldfish Chi Chi made for you. you. Gotta eat this. You know, to give it a pick, you gotta give it to Goku. Give it to everyone. By using the meal, the character has become stronger. All right, here we go. Oh, that was on episode three and episode four. We gotta defeat Raditz in level six. It's gonna be annoying. And we're not gonna use explosive waves, and Raditz will use a cyclone attack on you. Stop doing that. I'll counter you. And a good thing you're dodging. Come on, fill up your key, please. Stop moving. Quit it. I want to power up. How can I do it when he's done moving? Man, he's seriously fast. Oh my god, Saturn could crush. What an annoying move he's got. Seriously, stop. Oh, great. Stop that. Oh, man. I'm really not going to get an S rank right now. Aren't I? Yeah, we got an S rank. Level 5, Piccolo. Okay, this is where Goku fights alone. Happened in episode episode four. Oh great. Oh, why is he doing that? That crud. Come on. Stop that. Quit moving, rats. Come on, please. Darn it. What are you doing? Enough. Why is he using Cyclone Monday and Double Sunday? Oh, this is going to be one annoying move that I have to avoid. Ow! Maybe when he's done, when, he, well, he's, when he's done using Double Sunday, maybe I might have a chance. Or if he uses Saturday Crush, I gotta use a Kamehameha. Oh man, he needs to stop moving. Why does he keep moving all the time? It doesn't make sense. Come on, Raditz. I'm gonna kick your butt, man. Okay, you gotta block when he's using that red electric spark thing he's using. Please don't guard for too long. Come on. I'm starting to work on my nerves, Raditz. Ow! That hurts! Now Raditz is furious. Watch out for the Saturday crush move, boy. And bro. Seriously, stop that. Oh man. Support. Oh man. Items, please. Get some Vita drinks. I think I'm going to get an A rank. Wow. Oh man, Raditz is now using an L to be move. Stop doing that to me, Raditz. Stop it. Cyclone Monday. Enough is enough, man. 
Walk out. Stop that. No, I don't have anything to support right now. Come on. Okay. Whoa. He did a blow on me. Powerful blow on me. Come on, you're almost there, dude. Oh, great. Stop it. Come on. We're almost there. Double Sunday? Oh, enough already, man. Seriously. Come on. Doesn't even work. Oh, man, I'm about to die. Please. Come on. I don't have a choice. Yay, I got an S rank. Excellent. Level 5. Why is Goku have no shirt on? Oh. Go this is the part where Raditz dies. After Goku did a full Nelson on Raditz. And, oh yeah. Raditz is defeated. I remember Goku just grabbed Raditz's tail. And try to beg for mercy, and, and and Raditz let go, made Goku let go of the tail, and he, and he got tricked by Raditz, and Gohan just raised his power level up after seeing Raditz crush Goku's ribs, and Go, Gohan just broke the space pod and did a headbutt on Raditz's armor and his ribs, and Goku did a full Nelson on him, and Piccolo used a special beam cannon on. On both Raditz and Goku at the same time. But let's let's continue. Here we go. Oh man, he has a gaping hole on his abs. Poor guy. And Raditz is dead. And Goku's friends arrive. Master Roshi, Krillin, and the others are all arrive on the scene. Piccolo proceeds to explain everything to them, Raditz's death, the other sands, and what happened to Goku. Oh man, poor guy. Oh, he has that torn out. Goku disappeared. I can't believe Piccolo finished him off, and Bulma took Raditz's scouter. That was in Dragon Ball Z Episode 5, Raditz's death. We got the Master Corn plush, fancy urn, silk apron, sacred text of martial arts. Look, is that Planet Namek where Raditz and, and Vegeta were upset about Raditz's death? He was a disgrace to the Saiyans, Vegeta said. He said, Raditz proves to be a warrior of dreadful power, but with a sac sacrificial strike like Goku and Piccolo, he is defeated in the end. Unfortunately, the injuries Goku suffered from the gambit proves too much, and he perishes alongside Raditz. This dangerous Saiyan duo began to make their way to Earth. Meanwhile, Goku, having died in the battle against Raditz, stood alongside Kami at the entrance to Otherworld. This is King Yama. And that's Kami. Now, Kami is voiced by Christopher Sabat as well. This is epi this is from episode six of Dragon Ball Z. Where was Raditz sent? Uh, hell. Next question: Who's more powerful, King Yama or Kami? King Yama. Next question: Who was judged after death? Not only Earthlings, but everyone is. Is there a way to bring back those who have already died? It was. Which question is it? 
Let's see the number. What's the think of a hint? Raditz was sent to hell. Stronger King Yama or or Kami. King Yama's a lot stronger. Let's see who else. The fourth question. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, there's two soul emblems. Yeah, King Yama was forced by Chris Rager, also did, did Mr. Satan, a.k.a. Hercule. Yeah, that's right. Chris Rager also did the voice of, oh, let's see here, hmm. Cementos from My Hero Academia. And who else? Let's see here. He did Kibano from Yu Yu Hakusho, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah, I already read that to recap. Red fruits are rare, so if you spot on any, pick them up. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is where Piccolo trains Gohan. Gohan's crash course in survival. Oh, Gohan starts crying because of Piccolo. That was in episode 6 or, or 7. Search for food in the surrounding area. Gohan the survivor. Okay. I think I'm going to end this stream for right now. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gabriel Gaming 5000K. And I'll see you next time, guys.